What's up, friends? Other good mood. This is money, and welcome to a big super chest and chest opening video with 32,000 keys from the conversion of workshop points to keys. Okay, so we're going with three times as much speed right here, and let's just assume, guys. Not only are we gonna open a lot of thousander chests and two super chests, we're also gonna have uh, 100 chests and try and compete these two. Okay, so uh, yeah, and let's assume we're a normal player and what we want. By the way, look at the, uh, the Lancelot thing is just stuck on my screen. Something is wrong with this thing it's not supposed to be here anymore go away um yeah so we're gonna assume we're a normal player and what we want is most mainly specter bulgazari and shock train okay so far i have got none of that a little a little bit of gold just there which isn't bad but it's a very widespread uh you know price acquisition as you can see we're almost there to the first super chest and uh, 6,000 co corona components probably also a good thing right that's a very new weapon 6,000 of that is more than 50% of what you need for the weapon so that's definitely a good good thing to get from um, from this uh, 1000 or chest but let's go towards the super chest which we have the first one coming up now everything now is 5000 uh, except I think for gold and dragoon components definitely a good thing too okay so far that wasn't too bad but shock train none no things for shock train and no things for Spectre right if you were a player who seeks these kinds of things then you wouldn't probably be very happy with this we're right now opening 100 boxes uh, boxes with 100 keys and you can see there's a uh, 250 is the the new stuff you get instead of a th 2000 we get 250 and uh, and the prices are different ones it's like ballista and our ballast instead of dragoon and uh, you know the the bigger things and that have been released so and more attractive things so the prices are the uh, medium strength prices in the 100 price category more more of it and uh, we got in a dock right here and then if you open the 1000 boxes you can get the more latest content if you will and of course you get higher amounts for it but you spend much higher amounts of prices too now let's just open 50 100 boxes you see very quickly what we're getting here it's mostly halo uh, okay that's not got a bad gust um cor corona stuff so still it's still some of that is still the same uh but i think i haven't seen a dragoon in here is there a dragoon i'm not sure and still once again not even gotten one point of specter stuff right absolutely nothing for the specter so far and nothing for the shock train so far but we're gonna get ourselves uh, the shock train later or pieces of that because we're also gonna open the uh, royal thing later with uh, the royal tokens okay so a Lancelot here we're, we're opening a thousand or chests once again here 75,000 we're getting these royal po uh, uh, royal tokens which we can use later to get uh, to that by the way we just got more than 12,000 corona components I think so we sh we even have a new corona right now so Super chest. Here we go with the next one. And another nice battle with the Mercury comes right after this, by the way. Pursuer, 5,000. Definitely a good drop. And definitely something you probably want because the Pursuer is an absolute beast. And it can really make you win in free fall. Let's open the rest really quickly here. That's it. Pulsar, Bulgazari. We've gotten some Pulgazari, a Bulgazari, which isn't bad. And, uh, and altogether, uh, these were uh, like the top prices that we have gotten throughout this session. All right, so yeah, let's go and have a bit of a royale uh, thing going here. War of Royale. We have 2.7 million uh, tokens, so let's go and start getting a Avenger. We only need half the Avenger. We're starting off with the lower ones down there, and then I usually try and go to the upper left side, uh, which I haven't done in this one here. That's probably about because why my prices suck so bad. <laughs> I'm literally getting the lowest to highest in the perfect order, N the least value. Second least value, third least value until the very end. So now we've gotten our Avenger and obviously I'm not going to open another one. Why would I do it? Although, of course, for these 162, you would now get certainty for for certain 5,000 Avengers. Uh, or uh, wait a minute, Avenger. That's how you pronounce it. People say pronounce it right, please. The Avenger. <laughs> That's it, yeah. Uh, so we've gotten one right here and we could now open for 160,000 the next 5,000. I don't want one, but if you would probably aim for multiple ones, I would probably go for this because it's a certainty to get these one, uh, these 5,000, which is almost more than half, uh, yeah, which is exactly half the next one, okay? But I'm done right here. Uh, instead, I want to go for another one. Uh, let's go and try to get ourselves a, 
uh, Mender right here, okay? So all together we have 5,000, 7,600 and then it's already uh, more than 10,000. The upper, the first three is already one Mender, okay? So I'm starting in the lower right corner ex after excluding and uh, that's what I usually do. I start to the lower right and I get a couple of very little uh, value things and then I go to the upper left and then, I, and then somehow it starts going better. See, 1,800. I'm not sure if that's an actual strategy and you can just go for it, but uh, it somehow worked for me to do this the whole time. So, um, yeah, let's go through. We have 160. This one was already as expensive as the last one from the previous Avenger. Uh, Avenger. Avenger. Avenger, is it? Yeah. Uh, so, uh, interesting that the prices vary so much, right? So, now we have... Uh, I and I mixed this and uh, new right you I ha I, no I now would have to spend 800,000 for the next one to get to a certain but I couldn't afford it right 800,000 I can't afford them anymore to get to a certain mender so what I do instead I renew for 120,000 down there uh, the, ra the the whole th cards and go again exclude and start about around again with 500,000 which is probably gonna bring me easily over the um, yeah 10,000. There we go. See? Boom. We got a full mender now, and we even have 500,000 left that we can now try and spend on, for example, a shock train. So, going to exclude here, uh, it would be good to get a really, really big one. Let's see. Boom. 15. All right. Uh, 150,000 silver. 30. Now we're starting off on the upper left, as usual, and this time, well, 550, 1,500, and 300 so that's it now we're done but we have also gotten almost half a shock train right here not bad overall but at least 32,000 keys and something I really don't like about it is that you really rarely get any gold anymore and the royale they have taken out the royale the gold out of the Roy battle royale or how you call it the war of royale which I think is a really really bad move I mean it wasn't really that much you got from it and it was always a little bit of something for you and I found it a really shady move to be honest to, to ping this out and just silently remove it and um, I don't think there was a reason for doing this that's just what I'm trying to say um, I feel like it wasn't necessary so we are here in uh, free for all and I've already destroyed a specter pretty bad like he was trying to counter stealth or you know stealth jump me and I just counter stealth jumped him with the explosion and then I finished him off while stealth stealth denied <laughs> so the next guy was a Kamiho we also had a little chance with a uh, we can lock down this Kamiho uh, this sorry this Bulgazari right there with our shredder to our left by corner shooting him and uh, the more I shoot him now the, the the more mad this guy becomes right because he can't fire at me he can't hit me I'm fa too fast for this so he's getting really, really mad by me doing this. And uh, so eventually he's going to come close, which is exactly what I want him to do. And I'm trying to lock him down one more time with just my left, right weapon. And then when I manage to finally successfully do this, I'm jumping just on him. Boom, dealing a lot of damage with the explosion. And eventually destroy him before he even gets to start locking on fully. Boom. Three kills already. We're second in place so far, but we are still going with almost our full Mercury. All right, because this is, I really like the Mercury idea. I just don't like that most of the time you can't make this setup run very well because, you know, you don't have these one-on-ones that you need in order to jump on somebody, kill him, and then wait the cooldown to recover so you can jump on the next guy. Usually you die between the first and the second jump. And uh, here in this one on Power Plant, I was able to kind of da dodge most of these enemies and just wait for my jump to come back. In this case, maybe I should have jumped for him. I think I could have gotten him with this uh, if I had jumped at, at him, but I wanted to jump and dodge the firepower, and at the same time I wanted to land up on a high ledge where I can retreat and, uh, and cover myself, right, for the next jump. And yeah, so we got him anyways with just the firepower. See this full Bulgazari getting completely snacked by a 5% Spectre? The 5% Spectre has just destroyed the 100% Bulgazari completely. And uh, now I'm getting greedy here. I want to get this guy, and I thought I was going to be able to do this, but unfortunately, I left this bot alive with like 1% HP, and uh, the other guy, they hide you with Punishers. By the way, awesome setup, dude. Um, uh, you know, he got him. So, yeah, we're, we're jumping at him now. Boom, landing right in front of him, locking him down, and squished. <laughs> like a freaking ant. Absolutely squished. And yeah, it's a very rare occurrence that I managed to make such good use out of the Mercury. Like I said, usually the thing dies before it gets to jump another time. And um, yeah, in this case, we're still running the first Mercury. We've gotten five kills out of it. We're down to 50% health now, and uh, we're first. The problem is, though, the enemy now has a long-range weapon, the Shock Train, that has the capability of one-hitting us with a lot of damage, right? 
And um, and that's the thing, because if I activate my stealth uh, for a second or so, they will still be able to hit me. Um, and, and that's a really a big problem right there. I made him shoot into the wall right there, and uh, I'm trying to walk up to him and get him in sight. Let's see if we can make it happen. Come on. What is this over there? It's a Zeus Carnage, I think. And I'm trying to be safe from him. Now I'm activating stealth, but he still hit me like a second later. Uh, I somehow got him with my explosion. Um, because even though he looked like he was out of my range, that was not bad for me. But at the same time, he's now he already hit me. So that means the next time he shoots me, he's gonna kill me. Boom, 45,000 damage, no problem. And now he lost the weapon, right? Now he lost his third weapon. Look, look at this. He had all three weapons until the moment he fired... And then his weapon breaks. If his weapon would have broken a second earlier, then he would not have had enough damage output to kill me with my 45,000 health. Uh, but his, his weapon was allowed to roam in free until the very end, fire, and then it was destroyed. And so he got me with it. And that really was really bad for me here. Now we're having the another encounter with an Orc Inspector. The one that everybody runs is the Orc Inspector because you can target people very well in stealth. And uh, yeah, I'm trying to get him here. Boom, I'm not sure if I did get him. It looked like I should have gotten him, but when I take a look at his HP here, he had half HP. Well, I may have gotten him with this explosion. I'm pretty... I think I did get him, but, you know, it wasn't enough to really deal enough damage to him significantly. But here's he, he's back here with, uh, with a bot right there, so let's jump on him. He thinks that's a Spectre. He counter jumps and boom, got him really nice there. All right, so seven kills still first with just two Mercuries so far. Wait a minute. That's the third one. That's the third Mercury, that's right. <laughs> I may not forget that we have already had two of them before. So, walking away here, we have, by the way, the Glory and the Shredder on this one here. Because I've read some comments from somebody who asked, Hey, come on, please tell you tell me the name of the weapons you're using. Uh, most people probably know them, but not everybody. So, Glory is the Heavy Energy Root Shotgun, and then we have the shredder on it which is a light uh, repeating uh, machine gun that can also lock enemies down right so I'm waiting for this guy to open fire at him so I can finish him off and uh, boom that here he was boom the Spectre is almost a one-hit kill after this shock train hit from the other Spectre he now used his jump for whatever reason and he also walks uh, he has used his shock train which he's currently recharging so even right now he still wouldn't be able to do a full hit on me and uh, so I'm gonna jump on him now, lock him down, land on him, boom, explode in his face, and then I'm even gonna taunt him <laughs> and not shoot at him. Like, hey man, how's it going, buddy? Boom! And then he's dead. So yeah, and then I thought that was his last bot, but he spawned in again. So like a robot, I start targeting him and walking towards him right away. So there it is. It's 37 seconds left on this combat. We only have 35 seconds now, okay? So I'm gonna try and get him down and see if I can beat him, this full Bulgazari with Scourge. One of the very popular setups these days. And uh, boom, I got him pretty good there with my explosion. I locked him down and he already used a dash too. Unfortunately though, he still has one more dash that he's gonna use now to get closer to me. And I'm trying to walk around the corner here. Ah, come on, stop it. My butt is now, or my left shoulder is now glowing red. He's following me, he's mad that I was able to jump on him, but my by now I was able to re reactivate or re um, you know cover the jump ability, and so we got the guy again two seconds before the round ended. So that is it, 1.5 million damage, 10 kills, and that was my unboxing video for these 32,000 keys, two super chests. Uh, I think in the... Um, the normal chest opening, let's go forward here, it is it is so widespread that if you really want to go towards something, you gotta use the workshop these days. You you can't really use this here to aim at a certain thing. You just get such randomly widespread to, uh, prices that it's it, ne next to impossible to really try and get something per in particular. Like a shock train or like a Spectre or Exodus if you want that per in particular, right? Um, but yeah, if you have some leftover keys running around, there's no hurt in using them, right? And uh, if the uh, Royale thing works quite okay to get towards a third certain thing um, and if you manage to save up a bunch of Royal tokens over the time that you have didn't have to spend on that you just got them for you know over time for opening chests and, and these uh, supply drops and maybe f through the keys as well you get also some of these uh, tokens here as you can see and other than that, I think the best way to really to go for a certain thing is the workshop now uh, 2.0 with a lot of silver. But hey, I think it's, that's enough. The video has been whoa, super long and I just think it's time to say 
Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, leave a like and comment down below. And if you haven't already, hit subscribe as brutal as a man can it for more. Thanks for bearing with me. You guys are awesome as always. Money Gaming signing off. Bye-bye.